Imagine an aircraft that was meant to replace many legendary airframes, but was so ambitious that it suffered years of delays. Fast forward to today, and that same airframe has become the most advanced combat information node while also surpassing 1,000 units rolling off the assembly line. Welcome to the world of the F-35 Lightning, the premier fifth generation stealth fighter. Not just another fighter jet, the Lightning has become the symbol of a new era in global defense. So far, more than 10 European nations have adopted this fighter, making it, some would say, the new Eurofighter of the 21st century. However, the journey of the F-35 is an ongoing one, paved with relentless ambition and challenges. As it embraces its latest upgrade, the Technology Refresh 3 or TR-3, the aircraft stands at the crossroads of practicality and technological evolution. This upgrade is not just a step, but a giant leap, promising to unleash capabilities that will redefine modern warfare. The Lightning's path has always been filled with complexities, a reminder that the goal of aerial supremacy is won by a relentless pursuit of innovation and resilience. So strap in, hit that subscribe button, and join me on a thrilling expedition to uncover what's behind these delays with the latest upgrade, why the Lightning is more than just a fighter, and why we absolutely need more of them, now more than ever. PilotPhotog.com The nature of combat is evolving. Today's operational environment for the F-35 is becoming increasingly contested meaning that pilots should no longer anticipate the liberty to execute their missions unchallenged. So how do you keep the F-35 on the cutting edge? Some of the ways are through secure software updates, new weapons, and even an engine upgrade. More on that later. The software updates will help the Lightning be able to receive and send tactical combat information securely without the enemy being able to read its signals. But like with most things, there's a process. Just like in life, before you can run, you need to walk. And that's sort of what's going on with the holdup of the F-35's latest software upgrades. Technology Refresh 3 includes major upgrades to the Lightning Central Processor and software. And it's the digital backbone, the walking part, that the F-35 needs for its upcoming Block 4 upgrade, the running part. And although software updates are never as flashy as a new engine or weapon system, TR-3 will make a significant leap forward for the F-35's internal systems and capabilities. It really will turn the Lightning into an even more advanced and secure warfighter. Yet, the TR-3 upgrade should have already been done. Originally, TR-3 was supposed to be ready in April of 2023, but that deadline has been repeatedly pushed back, with the latest estimates now showing quarter three of this year. So what's behind the delays? Along with other factors, apparently the manufacture of the new computer processors that are needed for TR3 are running late. This is sort of like the chip shortage we saw recently in the auto industry. Remember that the F-35 is expected to stay in service until at least 2070. So ongoing software and data security updates are critical. And when it comes to your online data security, one of the best ways to help safeguard it is by using today's sponsor, Delete Me. Imagine a world where your personal information is just that, personal. Welcome to Delete Me, a hands-free subscription service that ensures your private details stay out of the public eye. In the digital age, data brokers tirelessly gather your sensitive information, creating profiles that are sold and resold. This includes your social security numbers, family details, addresses, and even more. Scary, isn't it? But here's the good news. Delete Me is on a mission a mission to put you back in control of your own data. Their privacy experts dive deep into the web, removing your personal details from hundreds of data brokers. Within just seven days of signing up, you'll receive a detailed privacy report. It's more than a one-time fix. They will continuously monitor and remove your data, offering custom removal requests for your unique needs. At Delete Me, your privacy isn't just a service, it's a commitment. Their dedicated privacy advisors are always ready to assist, tailoring solutions to your individual privacy concerns. I've personally used and trust Delete Me. Best of all, Delete Me operates from the US, yet their reach is global, offering services in the US and beyond. 
They focus solely on effective PII removal. No bundled services, no outsourcing, just pure, unadulterated privacy protection. Get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash TOG and use promo code TOG at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash TOG, code TOG. Delete Me, because your personal information should stay personal. Getting back to the Lightning. Once the TR3 upgrade is complete, the Lightning can start to implement Block 4 features. It's important to note that Block 4 isn't just a one-time upgrade. It's an ongoing process of enhancement, constantly redefining the F-35's abilities. Under this initiative, the F-35 is set to become even more formidable. It will be equipped to carry an increased number of missiles, weapons, and communicate with advanced drones, all of which will amplify its firepower. On top of this, the F-35's reputation as an electronic warfare powerhouse will see notable improvements, making it more adept at outmaneuvering threats in the digital domain. And just like software updates aren't usually interesting, Electronic warfare doesn't often get the coverage it deserves. Today's electromagnetic environment is so congested, it's jam-packed with civilian, commercial, and military signals that make it absolutely challenging to sift through and identify enemy signals. Heck, even sometimes friendly military signals can interfere with detection. To make it even more challenging, enemy systems aren't sitting still. They're using various ways to avoid detection. For example, adaptive waveforms, networking their signal emitters so you don't always know which one is the original source, and even using complex pulse patterns that could be similar to ours. All of this electronic noise combines to increase the complexity of the battle space. To counter this, the Block 4 F-35 will include enhanced electronic warfare tools and advanced sensors. In essence, Block 4 is designed to detect every relevant threat pulse as soon as it happens. As you know, one of the F-35's biggest strengths is that it is a combat information node in the sky. It doesn't fight alone. These Block 4 upgrades will also help it work better along older 4th generation fighters and the 5th generation F-22, and even with other parts of the joint forces. Basically, the F-35 can pass along information that these other platforms may not be able to detect and vice versa. But remember, you can't have Block 4 without TR3. You need that software foundation. It's like trying to run the latest version of DCS on a Windows XP laptop. In essence, with the TR3 upgrades and Block 4, the F-35 is not just upgrading, it's evolving, staying ahead in the ever-advancing world of military aviation. Despite the most recent challenges, the F-35 continues to be a runaway success. There are more F-35s flying today than every other stealth fighter in history combined. Perhaps the most notable example of the Lightning's success is the fascinating trend that is unfolding across Europe. Despite having access to the homegrown Eurofighter Typhoon, an impressive aircraft in its own right, more than 10 European nations have adopted the American-made F-35 Lightning II. Now, to be fair, there are many components for the Lightning that are made in Europe, and virtually every European nation that adopts the fighter gets to produce or assemble some of the components in-country. But still, it's sort of like a European football team known for developing its own star players suddenly opting to draft an outsider known for its game-changing skills. In a way, the f 35 selection over the Eurofighter isn't just a matter of preference, it's a strategic decision. The F-35, with its stealth capabilities, advanced sensor package, and network-centric warfare abilities, offers a different set of skills compared to the Eurofighter's emphasis on air superiority and agility. Essentially, this choice reflects a broader strategic shift in these countries' defense outlooks. They're looking to integrate into a more global defense network, where interoperability with NATO allies, particularly the United States, is key. The F-35 serving multiple nations becomes a linchpin in this strategy, enabling seamless collaboration and shared technological advancements. So despite the allure of supporting a local product, the unique attributes of the F-35 are steering European nations toward a more global perspective in their defense strategy. Now there's one more thing we need to discuss, 
Many of the upgrades for the F-35 involve electronic devices. And here's the deal, every electronic device generates heat. It's just a natural byproduct of electrical current flowing through them. Now when it comes to smaller devices like your trusty cell phone, they can use passive cooling methods. That means that some of the heat generated by the processor is dissipated by using the phone's case acting as a heatsink. But when you get into the world of high-performance electronics like PCs or fighter jets, these power-hungry machines need serious cooling solutions to keep their electronics from overheating. PCs can rely on cooling fans and even some use liquid cooling techniques. But when it comes to fighter jets, especially the F-35 that's packed with advanced electronic systems, you need a lot more cooling. And so to keep all the planned TR-3 and Block 4 upgrades running, the electronic cooling requirements are simply through the roof. In fact, the current engine as it's configured can't handle it. So to tackle this challenge, a brief competition was held between Pratt & Whitney upgrading their existing F-135 engine that's in the Lightning already, or GE introducing a new engine. In the end, Pratt & Whitney was chosen to do the upgrades. I've done a video all about this, link in the description below. Starting next year, the modifications to the F-135 engine will begin. Known as the Engine Core Upgrade Program, the enhancements are designed to greatly boost the F-35's power and cooling capacity, ensuring it can support the demands of its Block 4 modernization and have enough room for the eventual Block 5 upgrade. At the end of the day, these upgrades and enhancements for the F-35 are coming at a time when we are seeing more conflicts across the globe. More and more, the global stage is resembling a complex chessboard where tensions are rising and strategic moves are critical. In this context, the demand for F-35s is escalating. And that demand is only getting greater due to the intensifying number of conflicts across various regions. For example, the Middle East, a perennial hotspot, continues to present a myriad of security challenging, which is leading to the need for advanced air capabilities. In a similar way, the Red Sea, a vital corridor in international trade and a hub of geopolitical interests, is witnessing increased military posturing and attacks. Here, the F-35's advanced surveillance and precision strike capabilities could be pivotal. Furthermore, the brewing tensions in the Asia Pacific, particularly the potential conflict between Taiwan and China, emphasizes the need for a stealthy, highly capable fighter like the F-35. In these scenarios, the F-35 isn't just another asset, it's a game changer, offering a blend of stealth, advanced sensors, and network-centric warfare capabilities. These features make it not just a tool for direct combat, but a deterrent in a world where the projection of power and strategic influence is increasingly vital. So, in today's world that's marked by escalating conflicts and shifting power dynamics, the F-35 is emerging as a key player in maintaining balance and ensuring stability. Thanks for watching, and thank you to my channel members and patrons for supporting my work. If you'd like to become a supporter, I'll leave links in the description below. The F-35 Lightning. We simply need more of them. Now you know. PilotPhotog.com